Отлично. Отлично. Good morning. <laughs> okay. Come on. Come on. Up, up. Get up there. Starting our day. Driving the puppies to daycare. It's so convenient having a doggy daycare around the corner from where our catering kitchen is. It's uh, pretty, pretty good. Well, welcome to uh, This Is My Life. This is your life. I am doing a bit of a day in the life vlog as a local food entrepreneur. First off, I wanna actually uh, give a huge shout out to Square Processing Systems for sponsoring this video. And what's amazing about this partnership that I have with them, I've actually been using Square for about 10 years now. When I first started as a food truck, I met one of their representatives who I still talk to today. And they were like, hey, do you wanna like add a terminal processing system to your cell phone on food trucks? I was like, that's genius. And literally that was 10 years ago. And here we are today integrating their online services in so many different facets of our business. So when they asked me to kind of share my, a day in the life as an entrepreneur and show what it means and what it takes to, I don't want to even say succeed, just exist in today's marketplace. I was honored. I was totally honored. So I'm going to show you what a typical day in my life looks like. I would be lying if I said I knew what my day was gonna look like before it actually starts. I have a general idea how my day is gonna look, but every single day is different for me. And because of that, I need to make sure that I can be, I use the term dialed in. I need to be as dialed in as possible because that helps me make better decisions. It helps me delegate to my staff and my team. And again, it helps me focus on things that I care the most about, which is cooking. So we've got an offsite catering happening today. So we're gonna go jump by on the food truck for a couple hours. We also have where our catering kitchen is, our neighbors are a brewery, a local brewery. And when they first started uh, building out the brewery, we were still building out our kitchen. And I approached them and I was like, listen, like, I don't know what your plan is for food, but our kitchen's right next door. Like, let's see if there's a way to make this relationship work. And honestly, like we came up with this like collaborative, mutually beneficial relationship for them and us where they have no kitchen, we have no patio. People sit on their patio and sit in their brew pub, order food and beer, but order food. We get the, the order, we make the food and it gets delivered. So it's like literally a, like a, a next door delivery and it's awesome. And then on top of that, busy day today. On top of that, there's like this like 50s roller skating diner event happening in the parking lot. I kid you not, this is real. In the parking lot where our kitchen is. So it's gonna be a little chaotic on site today because we're gonna be doing burgers and fried chicken sandwiches for that event, our full menu for the other event, plus the food trucks in the offsite. There's a lot going on. <laughs> okay, come. Good puppies. Come on. So oh, sad dropping them off. <laughs> oh, puppies are dropped off at daycare. Bless them. Gonna do a little bit of office work and then we're gonna head on over to uh, the food truck, which is in the other end of the city. So that's always fun. I feel like I spend so much of my day in my car. Like I, I'm constantly traveling from one point to another. And then there's other times where I'm like, nope, not leaving the kitchen today. So it's, I, I do get days where I get to like change it up. Like some days I'm very much just stationed in the kitchen the whole time. Other times it's like I'm able to be a little bit more at the sound for being all over the place. So funny, like there's some things in our business that have been so digitized and like things like my calendar, I still like keep on a, on a board paper. I need to see it, I need to see it. <laughs> so right now it looks really calm but by 6 p.m. tonight, this whole area is gonna be one big massive event. 
And then, like I said, we do food for the brewery just next door. So this kitchen, we have a catering off site. It's gonna be coming back around the same time. Our kitchen's gonna be at like max capacity in about, about four hours. Should be fun. <laughs> this is my office. I know it doesn't look like much, but uh, I actually cleaned just for you because this yesterday was stuff everywhere. You know, I usually spend maybe about an hour a day here just grabbing invoices, putting them on our board. So this is a system that we've been using for years where there's a clipboard for every single day of the week. We take a lead, the lead becomes a booked event. We use the virtual processing terminal from that Square has to charge a deposit. That deposit now holds your day. Um, we use the back and forth to create a menu. The menu comes to me, I print it out, I put it up on these boards, and then I take these menus and I use them to make prep sheets. So that way when I take this and go to the kitchen, I can now look at what's on the menu and then divide and conquer with my team what needs to be prepped. And then literally when we show up to the event, I bring the invoice, I bring the menu, we bring the food, and it's like, there's no, I still take orders from people, but I don't have to worry about uh, taking any sort of payment on site. It just simplifies everything. I focus on the parts of the business that I care the most about, which is the food and the experience. And my events manager uses Square and it's like out of sight, out of mind, the stress is removed. I don't have to worry about terms or payments or anything like that. It's just, it's taken care of. And honestly, like as a small business owner, I have a finite number of hours in a day and energy to kind of do my day. If one thing can be completely taken off my back or my responsibility list, and I know it's done with 100% efficiency, it's a good day. All right, so this is today's menu. We got our fried chicken sandwich, we have pork tacos, some cauliflower sandwiches, but then that's the invoice. So the two go together. Okay, and then I'm just gonna bring this clipboard with me, show up on site, do our little thing, in and out. Okay, let's go. I'm gonna grab coffee, and then we're gonna go to the food truck. And I hope it doesn't rain. I really hope it doesn't rain. <laughs> I'm actually getting coffee for the team. So they're already on site. They're almost set up. Service is in about 45 minutes. So I think we're, we're good for time. Hello, how are you? They have awesome flavors of gelato here. So like, like Thai flavor, matcha, they have Turkish delight. I love Turkish delight. All right, so that's the food truck. This is actually that event that I was showing you earlier where it was like the invoicing and then the menu and now here it is. People are here, truck set up. I'm gonna go take orders because I'm late for work. But I got them coffees, which I left in the car. But anyways, I'm gonna get, I will get them coffees. Anyways, let's go.
All right, so the food truck has come back. They're unloading. We're like organizing the kitchen because we have a, a wedding catering tomorrow. So I'm gonna stick around with my team tonight. I'm gonna help facilitate this 50s roller skating outdoor event. I also have a team working in the kitchen tonight because the patio and the brewery will be busy because every Friday is our busiest night. Like I said, it's fried chicken night here. And there's gonna be a lot going on. So this is kind of like that in-between calm before the storm. I hope that's a metaphorical storm. I hope we don't actually get a storm. <laughs> the clouds are looking a little gray. But it's exciting because I haven't done an event in a while because of COVID. There's another food truck here. And these guys are awesome, Jerk Brothers. Great stuff. We aren't gonna be bringing our food truck, but we're gonna be using our kitchen in a similar kind of pickup drop off setup, right? So they're gonna be using a Square app to take people's orders. The order is gonna come up in our kitchen. Uh, we'll have that order, we'll make the order, and then we'll be placing it down here for pickup. And then people in roller skates are gonna come by and come grab it and then deliver it to tables. So we'll see how this goes. So first for us doing this kind of event. I haven't seen a roll. I hope they don't put me in roller skates. That's all I care about. No roller skates. Oh. Okay. Let's try again. <laughs> Ta-da! So this is literally a day in my life. We have chaos, we have energy, we have food going out, we have people having a good time, we have breweries happening, we have food trucks happening, we have people on roller skates happening. At the end of the day, success to me means working with good people and uh, putting out a great product. I love what I do. I guess that's kind of why I do my own thing. Anyways, folks, thanks for watching this. I hope you enjoyed today's Day in Life vlog. A big thank you to Square for not only supporting me as a small business owner, but for sponsoring this video. And uh, make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment down below if you think today was a little chaotic. You ain't seen nothing. Have a good one.